Hello and welcome to Indelible Gaming. I'm Tommy and today I'm going to be showing you how to plug in your Astro A40 TRs into your PC and Mac only. Oh wow, that accent. So let's dive in. If this isn't the setup that you're looking to be, make sure you click on these annotations around me. If you don't have annotations on, you should totally turn them on. I'm also going to have a playlist of all the different ways that you can plug in your Astro A40 TRs into different things. So if you're curious about something else, make sure to check out my other videos. So what you're going to need to set this up to your PC are the following. All of them are included with the original packaging an Astro A40TR headset, a four pole 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable, the microphone that came with the Astro A40TRs, a Mac or a PC. The following items are optional, but I do recommend them. The Mixamp Pro TR in either color, so either white or black, a micro USB to USB cable, and an SBIF digital optical cable. I'm just going to show you how to hook everything up if you actually have the Astro A40 Mixamp Pro TR because I figure if all you have is just this then you should be able to figure out how to plug it into your computer. I'm going to assume that you have the Astro A40 TR headset and the Mixamp Pro TR and now I'm going to show you how to set everything up. So the first thing I'm going to grab is the micro USB to USB cable and the Astro A40 Mixamp Pro TR. So the little end is going to go into the top here where you see USB. So that simply plugs in there. And then the other end of your USB is going to go into any of the USB slots that you have on your computer. Next, I'm going to grab the actual headset itself and the four pole 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable that came with the headset itself. The end that says Astro with the inline mute, that end that is closest to it is going to plug into the top of your headset right there. And then the other end is going to plug in where you see the headset right there on the mix amp itself. The next part is completely dependent on your setup and what you're wanting to do with it. I personally do this because I think it is better, but that is completely up to you and your setup, so you don't necessarily have to do this. So this is literally personal preference. So with the SPIF digital optical cable that came with your headset, if you have a port on your actual computer that's able to do this, then one end would go into that port on your computer. I don't have one on this laptop, so I can't show you. And then the other end would go in on your mix amp right here where the optical cable is and then you are 100 percent set up the next thing that you're going to want to do now that we've got everything hooked up is to make sure that your mix amp is on the correct mode so i've got my computer monitor over here is what i look at just make sure that i'm showing you the right thing so when i'm looking over there that's what i'm doing so right here you can see that i have a white ring it's hard to see i've got a white ring around this power button that means that you are on pc mode which is what you're going to be which is what you're wanting to be on for this mode so make sure that you are on that and it's not a red ring around the power button that it is indeed a white ring how you change that is by holding down the power button for around three seconds and it'll switch over because if you don't do that then you're not going to see the same settings that i'm about to show you now we're going to hop into the settings for the pc the next thing we're going to do is go into the sound settings on the computer so what i do is i just right click on this volume button back down here and i click playback devices so here we have all the different stuff. So we've got headphones, Astro Mix Amp Pro game. So according to Astro, you're supposed to select this as the default device. And then you're going to select headset earphone, Astro Mix Amp Pro voice as the default communications device. Since this is already the default communications device, that's why you don't see it. But there's an example of it for the other thing. The reason why I have Audio Advantage Micro 2 as my default device is, device is because I use the optical cable instead. So if you were one of those people that when I was showing you how to do this setup, you wanted to use the SPIF optical cable, then in your case, instead of selecting this as your default device, you would select your digital optical cable as your 
default device instead. Then we're going to go jump over here into recording. So the line right here, this is going to be your recording thing. So anything that you're recording, if you're wanting to record your voice and your teammate's voice or something like that, that's going to be the line setting. But this is the headset microphone Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice is the thing that you're going to want for both your default communication device and your default device. So just to show that real quick, let me turn this off. So this is what yours will look like. So you want to click that set default and default communication device. So we're all set here. I do want to show you one thing on Skype as well, which is this is also going to work on TeamSpeak and everything like that as well. So you're just going to go to Tools and then Options, Audio Settings, and then you're going to set it up like so. So you're going to want for your microphone, your headset microphone, Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice, and then for your speakers, you're going to want your headset earphone, Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice as well and then you're going to click save and that what that allows you to do is use the little tiny knob on your mix amp itself to balance the game and the voice chat in one instead of you having to do it manually so here is the astro command center you should definitely check this thing out because this has all kinds of stuff that you will probably want to check out. So right here we've got your different equalizer presets. These are the ones that I use. So when you're staring at it, you'll probably have default Astro AQ, EQ and also, I don't know, balance, nope, the flat maybe, or uh, natural bass, where I've changed, swapped that out. And then for microphone, you've got your different stream settings or your noise gate. So these are important. If somebody's not going to be able to hear your voice, make sure you switch this to, like, say, streaming or night or tournament or something like this. This tournament is going to be really aggressive, so you're going to want to either do streaming or night. Then your USB mic level, this is how loud your chat volume is coming across. And then your side tone is how loud you are hearing yourself inside your own head. The stream port is for when you're streaming. It is that line port that I mentioned a little bit a little while ago. So this is going to be all your different settings. And then your startup mode, you can choose to default start as console or PC mode. So that is Astro Command Center. So that wraps up this video. If you have a question, please leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. And of course, if you've been following my content for a while, please do subscribe. I'd also really appreciate it if you're new to my channel to check out some of my other content. And if you like what you see, please do subscribe as well. All right, I will catch you and your beautiful face on the next one. See ya.